What's the most disgusting thing you have seen done in school? NSFW. I had a class in a huge room. Where the chairs and desk were only in the front half of it. And we were all taking a test. Everyone was silent. But all of a sudden we hear a loud moan coming from the back of the classroom. Apparently two kids had finished their test early. Because they were sitting all the way in the back. And the guy was fingering the girl. In plain sight. I guess they just thought no one would look back there. But the geary couldn't hold that moan in. The school drama teacher pooped in the hallway. Twice. Edit. She wasn't fired. One of the few teachers who actually gave a shti. A girl ended up miscarrying her mahajin in the middle of class. I mean. I think it had started before class. But she stood up. And there was blood to her knees. Her jeans were soaked. I was the one closest to the door. And she started stumbling toward the door. I didn't know what was happening. So I stood up to help her. But I guess she had touched the blood. And she grabbed my arm. My arm ended up bloody. She ended up passing out. My arm and knees, from kneeling to check pulse breathing, ended up covered in blood. I had no idea someone could lose so much blood from a miscarriage. She ended up losing her uterus along with her baby at the age of 16. She almost died. Last day of school in grade 6. We were sent to clean out our lockers for the summer. For most kids. It was notebooks. Pens. Lost homework. Nothing too crazy. There was one kid though. Always being a big shti disturber. Had left a frozen lunch in his locker for 2-5 months. Instead of being a normal human being and throwing it out. He microwaves it. So after putting it in for 2-3 minutes he opens it up. It was steaming green mold. I still gag thinking about it a decade later. The smell was disgusting. Some kid sitting in the back of class started staring at this chick and demsturbating. Everyone found out and the parents were notified about the incident. 9 hours bus trip to another state for a football game. One of the players on my team must have drank close to 6 bottles of MT Dew and had to take a piss. We gave him a liter bottle to piss in and he does. The problem is he filled it up quicker than we could find another empty bottle so he ended up pissing all over the bus floor. He must have had a very vitamin rich diet since it was the nastiest smelling piss I've ever encountered at the time. We ended up making it worse by spraying axe all over the puddle to cover up the smell. The pee bottle also stayed on the school bus for another 3 games before a coach found it. We blamed it on the volleyball girls. In primary school. Someone picked up their shti and used it to write shti on the toilet wall. I like to imagine that person went on to have a successful career as a conceptual artist. Edit. Remembered another one. Pay teacher in high school threw up into her morning coffee. And still drank it. In middle school we had to dissect a pig fetus. Somehow. A kid stole a fetus and smeared his tea and pig organs all over the bathroom. Paying special attention to the mirrors. It was the most horrifying scene I have ever stumbled upon. He never got caught either. One day in my sophomore English class my teacher was lecturing as usual when some kid gets up and goes to sharpen his pencil. I thought nothing of it until about 2 minutes later when I smelled tea. It spread through the class pretty fast and someone finally said oh god. Look at the pencil sharpener. There was a pile of tea right next to it and tea on the handle. The kid that did it didn't stay in that school much longer. What's with all the poop stories? Was it just my school where people didn't tea everywhere? Wrestling Tony I was trying to turn this fat kid with a gut wrench and he tea on me yellowish liquid that looked and smelled like chicken broth. Who needs to eat chicken soup anymore? Not me. That would be what I did. Shti my pants in kindergarten and didn't want to tell any teachers about it because the kids would make fun of me if they found out. So I waddled to the bathroom and dropped my pants underwear, tighty whities. After which I started rapidly scooping the shti out of my pants with my hands. And trying to fling it into the toilet. Most of it got on my pants and the stall walls. The smell got to me and I ended up vomiting repeatedly onto the floor. My hands. 
and my pants. So this ordeal ends with me walking to the office. Crying. Covered in fesses and vomit. And being forced to wait outside because I smelled so bad. My mother eventually came and picked me up. And a good portion of the kids saw found out about it anyway. This is when you quit your kindergarten teaching job right? My friend in college told me about this one kid in his class freshman year cut a hole in his hooded sweatshirt and stuck his dick into the hole. It was a hoodie without a zipper. So he would just jack it whenever. One time. An attractive girl had to be in his group. So when she sat down next to him. He put his hands in the hoodie pocket and started jacking it. He moved away his senior year. But came back to town for some unknown reason. He started working at one of the pizza places, suffice to say. My friend never bought pizza from that store again. Edit. He wore that F King sweatshirt every day for almost 4 years. Am I the only person on reddit who has never had a kid jack off in one of their classes? This kid is really smart and perverted. In 7th grade I caught a guy F King a stromboli in the bathroom. Also. In 6th grade we had to run laps in P.E. While we were running laps this kid a few yards ahead of me just stops. Shakes his leg. And starts running again. As I ran past where he had momentarily stopped. I saw F King turd on the floor. Moth F K pooped while running laps. Edit. Holy shit. A lot of redditors have. Or know someone who has. Shit on the floor during gym in P.E. I am from a small shtty town in Texas. If you think you know the story I'd love to hear from ya. I love how he knew exactly what to do. Just shake the turd out and keep going. Instant weight loss. Ninja turtles. Food fight. Ran out of food. Kid fills a glass snapple bottle with his own urine. Hucks it. He's now a physicist at University of Edinburgh. Jarrett. We were watching a movie during class and it was dark. So this girl gets the idea to start touching herself during the movie. A few people notice and giggle. But nobody says anything. Then she decides it's a good idea to take the white oat from her desk and shove it down her pants. Somebody near her whispered Ashley. What the fck. And she ran out of the room crying. White oat in hand. I'm still not sure if she ever saw the ending of a mustard. Was it a stick of white out of the tube with the nail brush applicator? My 9th grade Spanish teacher didn't let people go to the bathroom under any circumstances even though we had a 4 minute passing period and 5 bathrooms in the whole school, 1000 plus kids, and there were always lines out the door. One kid obviously had to go but the teacher wouldn't let him. He held it for like half an hour after asking. Clearly super uncomfortable. Then he told her he'd pee in the class if she didn't let him go. She should have listened. Happened in my high school too. Except this kid pissed in a water bottle and put it on her desk when the class was over. After that day she always let people use the washroom when they asked. I never understood this. Who cares if she says no. Some kid whacked off in class. Then threw his jizz on some guy's back without him knowing. I didn't really know how to tell him. What kind of person throws cum on another person? This is referred to as seagulling in the UK. Yes. Kids do it often enough to name it. Ah uh, sir. You. Ah. I didn't see it. Thank god, but someone I go to school with once shti pissed in someone's backpack. Oddly enough. He's actually a pretty cool guy most of the time. Some dude in my high school did this. But he was a colossal f king asshole. I heard a sneeze in my history class I didn't think much about it. But then I heard slurping. So I turn around and there is this guy with a handful of his own snot just slurping away like it was some kind of soup. He seemed to enjoy it but I almost puked. One girl was giving a guy a blowjob under the desk during my high school health ed. Substitutes are just clueless. But it was dark and we were watching a video on the projector. Why aaaa I'm sure you were watching the video. I'm currently a sub. There's no chance this dude didn't notice this. He just didn't want a cock block. Substitutes unite. 
I saw a guy stand on a toilet then use the force of his stream to open the store door. My mind got derailed at use the force. In third grade. There was a kid trying to impress this very pretty girl. He would always sit beside her while the teacher read to the class. One day the kid felt sick and he kept asking the teacher if he could call his parents and go home. The teacher insisted the kid wait till recess so she could walk him to the office. So halfway through reading time. The kid feels like throwing up and decides to get up and run to the garbage bin. However. In the process of getting up. He bathed all over the pretty girl beside him. Some went on her back. Some on her hair. And some of it on the kid's own clothes. I was the kid. What a twist at the end there. Someone handcuffed a kid to the showers in the locker room. No one ever used the showers. So he wasn't found until the next day when classes came in. He was not naked. But he was very cold. And I'm pretty sure he didn't fall asleep considering the water was hitting him the whole time. Whoa. When I was in 6th grade. This kid got a raging boner in the middle of warm ups during pay. At the time we were currently running laps. And he proceeded to violently punch his penis and scream go down. Go down. Full stop. Needless to say. It didn't listen to him. I had a student with terrible acne who would pick the scabs from his face and eat them. No. Oh. I have another one. I have a friend who has leukemia. She goes back home every Friday for chemo. Her professor takes points off of her grade 4 attendance even though he knows her reason for missing class. I have seen some kid emsturbating in the showers. He was just stroking it like nobody's business. Everyone saw but nobody made a remark toward it. I remember someone asking later why he was doing it. His response? I was effing horny. What else was I supposed to do? There's a certain amount of inarguable logic there. One time in middle school. I had to spit a massive phlegm nugget on the bus ride home. I had a window seat in the middle of the bus. So I just figured I'd lean my head out the window. And spit the logy. I didn't realize that the girl sitting behind me had her window open as well. I spat that snot wad out my window. And it whipped straight back into Janie's face. I knew immediately what had happened because several people had gasped. The damage covered area from her upper cheek down to her chin. I've never seen someone so horrified in their life. I got a pretty good laugh out of it. Still feel bad though. Lol. Lung biscuits. There used to be a kid who emsturbated in my class. Under his desk. We could all see. And the teacher was too weirded out to call him out on it. This went on for almost 3 years before someone actually called him out on it. And he stopped. Needless to say. No one touched anything after he touched it. Colon. Edit. His name was Kevin. Okay. Lol. Edit 2. Seems like my whole class might be on reddit. Lol. My story is more sad and NSFL than anything. But I'm in high school. This gothic girl get bullied weeks after weeks by some jerk. One day I was talking with some friend near the girls bathroom when we hear someone scream. We run there as quick as possible. The girl that got bullied was laying naked on the ground. Had cut her wrist and committed suicide. There was blood everywhere. It was really not nice to see. Motivate me to work for S. O. S suicide today. But it was disgusting to see not only the scene but the event that lead there. Edit. I don't know what happened with the people that bullied the girl. They still came to school but might have calmed themselves with the insult and mocking other kids. I don't know if they got suspended for a certain amount of time or anything. Freshman year of high school. I catch wind of a giant turd in the main bathroom. Yeah okay. Big deal. Soon after. Lunch hits and as I pass the bathroom I see all this traffic and people laughing and talking about the shti. Alright. I might as well check it out. By then a small crowd has formed around the stall and kids are taking pictures. Apparently this kid was constipated for 6 days or something. This thing was as thick as my forearm and coming out of the toilet bowl because it was so f-king long. 
It must have been one solid piece two feet long. People said he had to stand up during the end of the delivery of this monster because it had nowhere else to go. Even our tight ass disciplinarian didn't care about the cell phones and was just as blown away by it. In the end the poor janitor had to dispose of it by manually cutting it into pieces and putting it into a trash bag. I didn't eat lunch that day. But I witnessed the birth of a legend. Did Randy Marsh go to your school? In the middle of math class. Some dude just throws up hard all over his desk and into his binder. He then shuts the dripping vomit binder. Puts it in his bag. Just walks out. The last time I saw him. Just leaving the room taking bath with him without cleaning his desk. When I was in middle school I had this massive crush on a boy who had zero interest in me. One day I was walking along. Minding my own business. When he and two of his friends walk up very close behind me. Socially awkward as I was. I didn't say anything. I was just so excited that he was walking close to me. Then very quickly they run past me laughing like mad. A while later I reach into the small front pocket of my book bag to get my one and only Lisa Frank pencil. Only Lisa Frank thing I ever owned since we were so damned poor. And there's this huge. Nasty green logy. Thick. Chunky. And it had completely ruined all of the things I had in that pocket and was dripping off of my fingers. I stopped crushing on him that day. Edit. Thanks for the kind and hilarious replies. Everyone. This didn't scar me forever. I simply moved on. But I was really happy when I saw through Facebook that he became extremely unattractive. Colon. There's a lot of shti in this thread. One time our school had a bomb threat. I had to go to the washroom. Ended up walking in on a dude fking a fat chick's rolls. That's right. Not a vagina. Her stomach rolls. Like a titty fck. But with her stomach. I laughed and threw up in my mouth a little. In school we had this one couple in a corner surrounded by a group of other kids. Apparently he was eating her out right there in the middle of the cafeteria. But I guess she didn't tell him. Or didn't know she was on the rag. Bloody beard. Oh so bloody. He must have forgot his lunch money. Once had a kid have sx on the bus on the way to school. He asked if anybody else was getting some pssy. He was in 8th grade. And somebody once shit in urinal guy never got caught. I didn't hear about this until a while after it happened but this guy baked pastries for his french class that has his own come in them and pretty much everyone in the class had one. Including the teacher. How exactly did people find out? Secondary school. Dissecting cow eyes in a science lesson. One of the more intellectually challenged chaps picks up his group's cow eye. Pops it in his mouth and bites down. The disgusting factor was amped up slightly by one of the nearby students throwing up all over their desk at the sight of aqueous humor running down the chaps chin. Fun day. When I was a freshman in high school. A kid emsturbated right behind me in class. When he was caught and sent out of the class. This fk looks me in the eyes and smiles. Edit. He and I were back to back. So he wasn't looking at me when he did it. And I did check my back afterward. There wasn't any cum on me. He was probably looking at the slttty girl at the back of the room when he was doing it. And if I had to guess. He only looked at me because I was the socially awkward kid in the class and my reaction would get the most laughs. Which it did. Also. Blah blah most up toasted comment. Looks like he made you his bitch. Wood shop in 8th grade. We were making wooden boxes. My friend had the most repulsive farts that day and he ripped a huge fart into his box and closed it real quick. He then yelled to the temporary shop teacher hey this wood smells funny and the shop teacher grabs the box opens it directly into his nose. It was the harshest direct hit I've ever witnessed. The teacher staggered and started gagging and had to leave the room. My buddies would show up to school for basketball practice an hour or so before school. They came up with this plan where they wouldn't tea the night before. So they would all go across the school and tea in all the urinals. This happened about once a week. A real man has the courage to tea in a urinal. 
there was a, literal, piece of shti thrown at a boy's bathroom mirror. Was a pretty big piece of shti. Like one where you have to use two hands to actually pick it up and throw it. This is how I'm gauging shti from now on. Sitting in middle school English class. Some kid sitting on the ground around the teacher listening to her read some book. I hear some people start whispering and then I look down to see this girl, I think she had some sort of mental disorder, was sitting Indian style with her hand down her pants. I could see her fingers working pretty rapidly and apparently so did the teacher because she got up and took her to the office or something. Never will I forget that day.